something crazy happened last week. My buddy, he totaled his e-bike. And no, it wasn't from a crash while he was riding it. In fact, he wasn't even on the e-bike when it got totaled. Last week, uh, my buddy and I loaded up our e-bikes and drove out to the lake for some fire road e-biking fun. Now, normally on this ride, the dirt roads, the dirt fire roads are in pretty good shape. You know, solid packed dirt with just very little rocks and gravel or any other debris on the road. However, on this ride, it was right after a rainstorm, a big rainstorm, with uh, a lot of really heavy winds. And because of this, the trail was full of all kinds of tree branches, leaves, and who knows what else. And in fact, in some spots, there was uh, some broken cactus ears. You know those, those super sharp spiny clusters that, that seem to somehow jump up and stab you no matter where you're riding by. Anyway, we had a great ride, but he did pick up a lot of cactus spines that caused some slow leaks in his old, worn out, extra fat, fat tires. Now, he's kind of a cheapo, and he'll wait till something breaks or completely wears out before he fixes or replaces anything. Well, the leaks were slow, so he decided to keep riding and just to fill the tires when they got a little too low. And on the ride, we only had to stop twice to refill his tires, which, which was no real big deal. I guess he figured he'd just fix the tires when he got home. And fortunately, my tires were in good shape, so I didn't get any flats. Plus, my buddy, he loves to just bomb over stuff while I tend to try to avoid the big stuff. Anyway, we got back to our cars and his tires were still full, so we loaded up and, and got ready to head on out. Now, when I'm out with my buddy, he always gives me a hard time because I'm always so anal about making sure my bike is tied down super secure with ratchet strap tie downs. You know, he brags about his bike rack because he says it holds his bike secure without having to use any tie down straps. Now he has a receiver type bike rack with deep tire buckets on it and an adjustable hook that, that hooks over the top of the, of the top tube to hold his bike in place. Now, once uh, I was tied down, we headed to a local burger joint, a dive joint, to have lunch on the outside patio dining area. We probably were there for probably about an hour or so before we took off back home. Now that evening, I got a call from my buddy. He said his bike had fallen off of his bike rack and gotten run over by a car and totaled. And since he had the battery on the bike, that was totaled also. Not to mention the car that, that ran over his bike was damaged. Unfortunately, his insurance was gonna cover the damage to the other car, but not to his e-bike. Now apparently, what happened was, when he stopped for lunch, his tires lost air pressure, which in turn let his bike settle down in the rack and then bounce out. And, well, you get the picture. So for me, I always consider the worst case scenario. And I always have at least a three point tie down setup. Even if the manufacturer said tie downs weren't even necessary, I still have a three point tie down setup. I always make sure each tire has a tie down strap and the top tube also has a tie down strap even though on my rack it has an attachment point for the top tube. This way, if the tires were to go flat, the bike is still solidly attached to the rack with really good tie down strap connections. Plus, I always carry the battery in the car and not on the bike when I'm carrying the e-bike on the rack. I figure it's kind of a risk reward type of situation. The cost of my super cool and very expensive e-bike versus the tiny cost of the tie down straps and the little extra time it takes to do the extra tying down of the bike. 